Hello, Lifestyler. If you found my channel, welcome. And if you are returning to my channel, welcome back. I'm Lushan. Thank you for supporting me here on Lushan's Lifestyle. So today's video is a new series that I'm introducing to my channel. It is called, it's for DIY home um, decor. And my series is called Home Decor and Design for Free 99. This is a very budget friendly series because you all know I do deal in finance and budgets and planning and it's kind of marrying two things that I really love which is budgeting and crafting. So if you are interested in what I have in store with my new series then please continue to watch. Okay, so I want to give you a quick uh, background as to um, why I'm doing this series and why I started my challenge, um, my challenge, uh, my channel super quickly. Basically, I um, had been in debt repayment. I, I, in fact, I, I had eliminated all of my debt. And this was before um, Hurricane Irma. Hurricane Irma changed the whole, the whole game. Um, we had, um, well, actually it was Hurricane Michael. Hurricane Michael started th the ball rolling, but basically we had some roof damage on the house. And initially the insurance company said that the Hurricane Michael um, did not do as much damage as we were thinking, but apparently it, it did some something, and I don't know how the adjuster checked or whatever whatever but he was like oh it's only nine hundred dollars and of course the deductible you know what we have to pay a deductible so we'd end up paying that out of pocket well fast forward hurricane irma hits and our roof is gone and we're like okay that was super quick in between hurricanes but we went from oh your roof is cool to we don't have a roof we got to replace the whole thing so anyway we had some damage inside the house from hurricane irma and um, we had laminate flooring in certain parts of the house and of course the laminate was totally destroyed and there were some sections where we had tile um, flooring and then in my master bedroom we have carpet. Now I have a two-story house so downstairs is living room, dining room, kitchen, foyer, powder room, family room, nook and our master bedroom and bathroom and laundry room. So all of that basically um, in a nutshell, everything was a gut downstairs. We had to take up all the flooring. We took up, um, we had to have the air, everything repainted. We had our cabinets painted in the kitchen. So basically I had this idea in my head is that I wanted to go to the Nutritone because in my old house, and I'll put up some pictures so you all can see like what my old, the, you know, I think I got a couple, what it looked like and then the gut that we had to go through and then the after. And basically I have foundational pieces in the house, such as, you know, the furniture that, the furniture that we need. Um, but we don't have like, I don't, I, don't have, I don't have any accent. I have a few accent pieces, but my walls are pretty much bare for the most part. And I've repurposed some pieces, but yeah, there's a lot that um, I need to do. So what i decided to do was start a series that this is a you know it's a budget friendly series that you can you know add decor and you know beautify your home and make it look you know just as expensive as someone who spent tons of dollars and you can do it for a little or nothing you know free 99. so this first episode that i am going to be showing you or you'll be seeing is I had a salt and pepper Lazy Susan napkin table set and it's in wood, it's in, in bamboo and it doesn't fit the color scheme anymore because now I went from all the earth tone browns to a, the neutral cool grays and whites and dark colors, uh, uh, those colors. So that didn't fit. So this is just the transformation of what it looked like before and what it looked like now. So to make it work and I didn't pay anything for it. It was free because I already had it. I already had the paint, uh, you know, everything that I use, I already had uh, from my craft, you know, materials and paint and things of that nature. 
So basically, um, this is what this series is about, is that it's helping you to see and maybe you can utilize some of, you know, your crafting skills or, you know, that you can do it yourself. You can make your house look just as nice and um, reuse items that you thought maybe you didn't need, you know, just got to have that creative mindset and that vision and, to, and make it work in your space um, that you currently have. So I definitely will insert some photos. So you can see what my house look like, what it looks like now. My walls are bare. So um, well, I have a couple of pieces here and there, but those are pieces that I repurposed and made them work. Um, but I did sell, we sold a lot of things to help try to pay for some of the pieces that we replaced, but of course they didn't pay for, it, for everything. So all the debt that you do see on my channel now is legit from when we had to do a lot of work in the house um, from the damage from Hurricane Irma. But, you know, I, I, will, I will get back to my um, debt-free status. I'm, I'm committed, but I just thought that this would be a great way to show others that, you know, you can still have a really nice house and it doesn't have to cost you an arm and a leg um, to get it done. So I hope you enjoy the series. I have a lot of things that I'm repurposing and making it fit in the space again. So I hope this is um, motivational for, for those of you who are looking to spruce up your home, but you don't want to spend an arm and a leg to do it. So again, this is my new series, Home Decor and Design for Free 99. I hope you enjoy it. So this is the salt and pepper napkin Lazy Susan set that I will be transforming. I've had this set probably about uh, for about five or six years now. And again, it used to fit the motif, uh, the decor that I had, but it no longer fits. And I already removed the salt and prep that for painting and um, decided, you know what, you need to film. <laughs> so yeah, so this is what my first project for the series will be and um next i cleaned everything then i sanded and i used a very low grade sand i don't know which what what it was but it was very fine and um finished prepping the pepper um dispenser also i'm using rust-oleum paint um paint uh rust-oleum yeah paint and primer and this this is the semi-gloss in white and i didn't want to do high gloss because i wanted i didn't want it to be super shiny and i didn't want to use flat because i want to have you know it's in the kitchen area so if you know i have to wipe it down i need it to to wipe easily so make sure you're in a well ventilated area when you are spray painting and that old set that you saw me spray painting on, we were gonna get rid of it, but I'm like, I can utilize this. So I use it to spray paint on. All right, so three coats later and overnight, and I'm all dry and ready to start the decor. Um, I wanted to make sure that it was super dry, so that's why I waited overnight. And I, did an hour, I let it dry an hour in between each coat. Now at this point, we are now getting ready to go ahead and get everything cleaned up. So around the rim where the salt comes out, uh, there was a little paint on there. So I just used the X-Acto knife to get that off um, because I did have tape over that. So you just want to be careful when you are working with any type of semi-gloss or gloss paint when you are removing the painter's tape be careful because certain areas you know can can peel if the paint dried uh, on the tape in a position where it will it can just you know kind of destroy a little bit of what you've already painted so in the middle i was just you know kind of ripping it off but once i got towards the edges where it was where the glass and the wood met i was kind of very careful and kind of ripped it you know upward so that I would not uh, mess up how nicely um, the paint turned out um, 
So yeah, I was very, very pleased with um, the results. I didn't think it was going to look as as high end with the painting um, as it does. You know, sometimes spray painting can be hit or miss. So at this point now, I am removing the painter's tape from the pepper container. And you have, I had to be careful here because this actually will does grinding, you know, it grinds the pepper. Um, so I didn't want to get the, um, I didn't want to mess up the, the mechanism that, that actually grinds the, um, pepper. So, um, I was, you know, really super cool about that. But then once I got that off, you know, I went into, um, just kind of ripping it all off as, as you can see at some point, um, some of the, you know, it got stuck on my fingers. I was overzealous. And then as you see, I kind of slowed down a little bit as I was peeling closer to the edge uh, where the paint um, is. So the, that is the cap for when you're grinding. And I forgot, I was trying to put it on and didn't realize I had closed off that part of the top because again, that's, it's a grinder, you know, it, it grinds the pepper. So you don't want to do anything to mess it up. So, you know, that it continues to work. Now I'm figuring out how I want to embellish the salt and pepper shaker and the napkin holder. I wanted to do something, but I didn't want it to be overboard. And, you know, my first thought was, you know, just cover the whole bottom. And I was like, that's a little bit too much. This is just a salt and pepper shaker that's going in your nook area on the table that you, <laughs> that you guys eat at. So it doesn't need to be, you know, too blingy <laughs> if that's a word um it's a word now it, it didn't need to be you know too blingy but i just wanted to give it a little pop to fit in with you know the theme that i have in my head um so yeah now and i'm using um right now i'm just using again crafts that i already had so i already had bling wrap i have bling wrap out the yin yang in all kind of colors so I'm putting that on and I'm using um, the glue stick, you know, with the glue gun and that's a cheapy glue gun I've had like for forever. Um, I think I got it like at either Dollar General or the dollar store. I'm telling you, it's, I don't, I don't go all out with certain things because those things, they're, they're going to, you know, break eventually or you want to, you know, replace it after a while. So, you know, I'm not all out there buying, you know, 20 and 30 and 50 dollar glue guns you know whatever works to get it done so here i'm just being super careful with um the bling wrap and putting it around because i want it to be even i don't want it to be crooked so i did it in small sections to make sure that you know i didn't you know it wasn't looking all wonky i don't want it to look janky so even though it's diy um, you know, you still want it to look like store-bought. You want it to look like you got it out of a, you know, um, a high-end store or a store that sells these types of home decor. And I actually got this idea from, I was in, we have a furniture, I don't know, uh, you know, where everyone lives, but we have a furniture store here called Kane's. And I just happened to, sometimes I'll go in there just to get some ideas. And they had their table set up and everything was bling. And so I was like, well, yeah, I can, I can do, I can do that too. So, um, yeah, so I decided to do that. So I didn't bore you guys with doing the bling wrap on the salt. I went ahead and did that off camera. So here now is the uh, napkin holder. And again, I was trying to figure out off camera exactly how I wanted to place the the bling wrap um and decided on something super simple and um because i still had in my head like what i had seen in canes and the napkin holder they had was it was total bling i mean the the entire thing was bling and i was like all right that's yeah that's 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 doing the most i don't need to do the most let me just bring it down a notch um, so yeah, so I had already done the one side, um, off camera and, oh, please be careful with the glue gun. Cause I was really burning my fingers. Um, <laughs> that glue was super hot and yeah. So just, if you're going to try this at home, be careful with the glue gun. 
and all I did was just put some felt at the bottom of the Lazy Susan because I don't my table is glass and I just didn't want it to get scratched so yeah that is it all embellished so this is it now all done and here I put the salt back in the salt side and the pepper back in the pepper side and the finished product. I just paired it with a flower for the table and yeah, so it just went from something that was out of place. I actually stuck it in my pantry cause it was brown and I was like, it doesn't fit and I, you know, but you know, you need, you want to have a little table set, you know, for your, you know, napkins and whatnot and yeah so the idea just popped in my head that you know what just paint it and put a little bling on it after i saw what was going on in canes and it worked so yeah so thanks for watching everybody and stay tuned for the next episode